Tricky birds, rooks. It started when Debbie, the farmer's wife, sent Jaff this rather fuzzy picture on Facebook. I think we have a rook problem, she said. Basically, yeah, I had a, uh, a phone call from Debbie and Trevor, whose farm this is, and they said this white tape, there were so many rooks on this tape, it was actually touching the floor. And um, you, well, you can just see the, the damage they do on this wheat. I mean, this is only from one morning, the other morning they did all this damage. So you can see the importance of shooting rooks because they're just a major agricultural pest. Well, that is what we're here to do, and here's how we do it. What are the South Somerset ferreters famous for? Improvisation. Here is the South Somerset ferreting portable microwave, Pat Pending. Well, Jaff takes this talent with him when he's out on rook patrol. The hide poles are old decorators' extension poles. That's old poles, of course, not the poles of old decorators. Floaters are made from the metal that wraps bricks. And although the important decoys are crow decoys, the extras are pigeon decoys, painted black. Jaff builds hide number one. There is not a lot of action, but he gets a few. We move to some stubble. Jaff builds hide number two. There are lots of birds, but they carefully stay two fields away. The only bird to go over is a whirly bird. Jaff has had some good days here, probably two recently. He's had nearly a hundred pigeons off here in the last two days. Well, it shows that the rooks learn fast. And if you want rooks off your ground, educating them often has to be as good as shooting them. By the end of the morning we have shot a dozen between us and a few pigeons. What happens to the birds? The rooks get rendered in the farm furnace. But Jaff has a special new device for the pigeons. Well, basically I was fed up coming home every day and plucking hundreds of pigeons. Well I like to say hundreds but you know. Yeah I went on YouTube, saw this contraption. Um, Realised that it's quite expensive to buy as a unit, so I thought I'd have a go at making my own. So I bought this instruction manual off of uh, eBay, followed the instructions step by step. Um, it's quite involved, but it took me quite a few days. Um, I'm guessing it cost me about 250 quid because of the motor, and you've got your pulleys, your switches. But to buy one ready manufactured, you're talking sort of maybe four or five hundred pounds, even more. So. I'm always one for saving money, as much as I can. The South Somerset Ferreters is always a fun family day out, whatever they're doing. To find out more, search for them on Facebook.